Were you? Hello. So uh, I know that one of you asked uh, what is her name. She's called Speedy. She's uh, three years old and she's a little monster. She always wants to play when I want to film or I have to work. But because it is already six o'clock here in Switzerland, I thought might as well take a break, stop whatever I was doing and finally check out Solar's highly anticipated solo release called Spit It Out. A few weeks back, I think it was like two weeks ago, she started releasing new pictures and actually I made Oh my god. And actually I made an entire predictions video on her first teaser image in which I said that she was going to release perhaps a very Latin inspired song with uh, this very strong powerful vocals and just the overall message of it would be something very confident and just saying to someone that perhaps had wronged her in the past, perhaps a breakup song even, and she would be like, spit it out, bitch, tell me what's, <laughs> what's the truth. And so for today's video, we'll be checking out the MV as well as the live performance. So without further ado, after this long ass intro, I really wanted to tell you everything about it. I am finally ready to check it out two hours later is it possible that i will finally be able to check it out <laughs> oh there's no sound oh okay. that was in the teasers as well damn it has this mysterious creepy vibe especially the gloves with the nails oh my god there's English subs, by the way. I love when she sings in this lower register. She's so cute with this. <laughs> wow. My God. This is so freaking good. Nice chord. Clap, clap. Wow. <laughs> She's so cool. Elegant and feminine. It's so freaking cool. Ooh, singing in Spanish. Ooh. This is such a confident song. Wow. Ah, uh, this is such a bop. It will be like my summer song. Oh. Wow. Damn. Such a nice shot. I thought she was saying better or better, but it's actually better. Spit it out in Korean. Shit. Such a beautiful shot. Oh. <laughs> This dress is so cute. <gasps> She's so freaking confident. 
Oh, oh, the ending pose was so cool. Holy shit. I must say, I was not expecting her to release a song like this. My thoughts, my thoughts about this. It's so much to take in at once, but uh, I managed to somehow read the lyrics as I was watching the MV and there's so much going on. It's just so freaking stunning. Even though we had countless teasers and we did see some parts of it already before, the nails and the gloves, as well as the different shots, with the, the, the dress that was in the teaser picture. We've seen a lot before the release of the entire thing. However, seeing now the entire result is so freaking cool because you might think, well, if you see quite a lot, you might be like, well, I could have predicted this, but not at all. It's way better than that. It exceeds my ex expectations. It is so freaking cool. By the way, the lyrics, the meaning behind it, I must say my predictions video was like all about like a breakup or something like that, which tends to be the more like cliche approach, but she did not go that route. She's like all about confidence and who she is and saying that I do whatever I want and I am my own version. And there's some point, if I'm not mistaken, she says something along the lines is 50-50 only because I am a woman, because I'm a girl, why does not matter my way? so confident and she's not playing around and she's really pushing the standards that we have for female idols when i say we is basically society and what we have seen so far in the k-pop industry she's really pushing it which is so freaking cool especially having that one shot in which she's completely bold with that nude dress which is so freaking cool because we tend to associate the beauty of a woman to her hair sometimes but the hair for a woman is something that really really uh, showcases or symbolizes their appeal their femininity their beauty the look that society might have on you for not having hair like it is the standard or the stereotype for women to have might make you feel less than a woman when you actually should feel all the much more empowered because you took the decision to do so. It all stems from the point that if you do it because you want to do it and you are okay with it, it doesn't matter all the standards, all the opinions that other people might have, it doesn't need to bother you. And so it is so freeing to actually have the power to take your own decisions, your own choices and be okay with it and so i find it to be so cool that she actually pushed that standard off you can find beauty in many forms and you don't have to like have long hair to go by the standards of feminine beauty in order to be called beautiful the mv like every single shot is just so freaking beautiful sola in that black dress she's beautiful <laughs> and just every single shot is just like wow the pink gloves, iconic, the green dress with the almost black green-ish lipstick, <sighs> amazing. And also she does have a sentence in Spanish, which is so freaking cool to have that little touch because she is overall using a very Latin style of music for this comeback. So it's really cool that she added that sentence in which basically if I do remember the sentence correctly, means something along the lines of not stopping and but I'm not going too fast either. You're going on your own pace and you do things your own way and what makes you feel comfortable. You're not going to stop, but you're not going to actually go too fast and do things wrong. I hope I'm <laughs> understanding it correctly. It is the first time that I'm watching and uh, listening to the song. Right now, because I just gave you my first thoughts and perhaps some other things might come out, I will be watching one of the live performances. Which one should I watch? Let's go with the um, performance video Move Back dingo music and perhaps if you want me uh, to do another reaction to one of the live shows you can tell me in the comments down below 
but I really wanted to see the performance alone as it is so freaking stunning from the bits that we've seen in the MV. The outfits as well are so freaking cool and the fact that we've seen her explain the entire process or well, the bits that she had still with her because she did say in the beginning of the video that she had um, uh, some problems with the files from the first half of the process for this solo album so it's not really an album but for this solo release <laughs> let's say so um it's really cool to see how everything was planned out how she chose even the red lipstick instead of like the nude lipstick or something like that because it's all those details that make the end result all the much better so now because i am talking too much but i am really passionate about music and especially my own so now let's watch the performance video and I will just shut up. Like seven minutes, I have another conference call. So it's going to be like really, really speed. Ooh. By the way, this intro with or without gloves is just so freaking amazing. Yeah. I really love this beginning with the guitar. Oh. I love the location that they chose for this performance. So freaking catchy. Yeah. He's so freaking charismatic. <laughs> Having her buy her own shirt that way <sighs> just makes me feel some sort of way. <sighs> She's so freaking confident. Uh. I really thought she was going to say better or faster. Better. I'm just in awe with this entire performance. Thinking back on how many people said that Mamu couldn't dance or didn't know how to dance. <laughs> yeah, right. The ending pose is so freaking cool. <gasps> So I did already talk a little bit about my thoughts right before this performance and this performance just makes me love this song all the much more. I think it's like really a summer hit. I'm really hoping that with this one, like they get all the much more attention. Not to say that they don't have 
that much attention normally. Not at all. They have a really huge fan base, but it's not still to that level that you, you know that they can get all the much more like recognition for their work. So it's really cool that she actually decided to go in the route of something like with this Latin vibe, like they did for Egotistic, which in my opinion is a great song. I do love it very, very much so. So it's cool that she decided to go with the same vibe because she suits it so freaking much and just the entire thing the visuals of the envy her vocals so here she's clearly showing us a new side still maintaining her powerful vocals don't get me wrong but showing another side and showing as well how versatile she is and i'm just blown away it was totally worth the wait because it has been like two weeks since she started um, announcing this solo comeback and i'm hoping that she will promote this for quite a while because it's so that she just nailed it. I'm so I'm such a big fan of this. And now I'm starting to be like really, really tired. You can see that my eyes are like getting really, really small. But, but, and I already drank like three coffees today, so it's better not have a fourth one. But still, it is so freaking good. I love this. And perhaps you might think that I'm just saying this because I am a big fan of Mamu. And perhaps there's a bit of it. But still, you cannot deny how freaking catchy this song is. Her vocals are amazing. When she goes from the very low register, almost whispering for, for the, the verses and then the pre-chorus, amazing. And build up of the chorus as well, especially with a little breakdown in which you just hear saying the, um, oh, how do you say it? Set, fire, fire. <laughs> it just, it just, it's just amazing. I'm really tired now. But I will still be editing this and I still have to have a work session um, for like a project in a minute. So <laughs> let's wrap this up. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Don't forget to tell me in the comments down below what did you think about Soulless Solo. I really want to know you guys' opinions. Did you like it? Did you not? What's your favorite part of it all? I really want to know you guys' opinions, honestly. Thank you so much for all of you that have been watching my latest videos. And thank you so much for giving me your input as well every single time. I'm really, really thankful. We are a small community, but it's still cool that we can exchange and talk about K-pop and all of its amazing idols and amazing music. So, <laughs> I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I hope as well that you subscribe, like and share this video. And I'm really trying to reach 3000 subscribers here on my channel. So if you want to subscribe, you can do it. It's for free. <laughs> Take care of yourself. And I hope I will see you in my next one. Bye.